Hello, my name's Michael Keneally and I'm doing this video about making bind runes. It's part of my rune magic course. I've been teaching the runes for 22 years now. And there's a group of Latvians who sent in a question about issues making a bind rune. And specifically, they want to do a bind rune about protection of their home. And it's interesting that I'm making this video here because I'm in the high Yorkshire Dales where Maggie and I live. And very nearby is an Iron Age settlement high up where the local Brigantes tribe had their home and they tried to defend their home against the invading Roman legion. They were betrayed by their queen and they fought for decades but lost and ended up as slaves in the lead mines near here. So defense of the home is important. What is a bind rune? Well, a bind rune is a collection of runes put together to project and create a magical energy. And there are all sorts of issues which I'll be talking about, about how you do it. But if we're talking defense of the home, well, Maggie and I were thinking about this this morning, and possibly the first rune energy would be Thorizaz or Thor. You have to be able to defend your home. I was discussing this with Maggie this morning. Both of us are Librans. We were trained to be nice, trained to be nice to people we shouldn't be nice to. And so we didn't realise enough earlier on how you do need to defend your home. But just having a home that's defended isn't enough. It's crucial. But it isn't enough. So what qualities might you want to defend in your home? Well, the first quality to be defended that we thought of was wunjo or joy. Marriage joy. And so we felt the bind rune should include not only thurizaz but wunjo. Well, what other qualities might you want to defend? Well, there's the first rune, Feo, wealth. You do need to have enough wealth of your own to keep your home together, to support the loving relationship, to care for the children, to have enough food. Feo is most important. And then we thought of a fourth room, Ingus, fertility, love. It reflects the god Ing and the goddess Nerthus, a wonderful, deeply magical rune of fertility and love. So what you do, you then combine the chosen runes into a final bind rune. And so here is the bind rune. Now, you wouldn't really do a bind rune particularly on a piece of paper. So I've actually carried up to this great high point a wooden segment which I picked up from a timber operation just nearby. And so, here we have Wunjo. Here, Feu, wealth. Here, let me see where, Th Thorizas, protection. And here, the double X, Ing, of fertility and love. All these are put together. This is a powerful symbol. It's a geometry of magic. And so you could place this by your front door. 
so that the malevolent, the critical, the fussy, the nasty people will be kept away so that you would defend yourself and so that the qualities of love, sexuality, money could flower with the protection they need. But then a particular question is, do you need to charge a bind rune? And you do. You start charging the magical energies as you draw the runes. Because as you draw each one, you focus on the principle. What does Wunjo mean to me? What does Thurizaz mean to me? What does Feu mean to me? What does Ingus mean to me? You really focus on them as you're drawing them. But then there are different ways of magically charging the energy and sending it out into the world from this point of origin which will defend your home. And they vary. One of the things is it's very important that whenever you see it, it's recharged inside your head, inside your heart, and your soul fills with it. But some people, for example, will draw it, say, in flower on the floor of their home and then dance it into the oblivion of the mental realms, the spiritual realms, the magical realms. There are all sorts of ways. Others will do rune stance and rune chant, standing in the shape of and chanting the name of each rune as a magical charging. Now there is another issue, and that is about your true will. It is no good wishing for things that you don't really wish for. Wishing for things that are not on your karmic pathway, if you like. It's no good saying, I want money, 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 money. I've seen this stuff, and it's rubbish. What you have to do is be attuned to the rhythms and lessons of this phase in your lifetime. So your wishes have to be authentic, not forced, not formulaic. So this is a lovely bind rune, and I hope I've fully answered the questions of the Latvian group. So the website is called www.runepath.com, and there's a hyphen between rune and path. It's the most wonderful course. The runes are truly powerful. They can be used as light warrior energies. So, enroll on my course. Thank you.